Uh, hey, I'm Jonathan McLean. I'm the narrator of The Last Days of Night by Graham Moore. And I am Graham Moore, the author of The Last Days of Night by Graham Moore. Uh, why didn't you narrate the book yourself? I don't know. It was, a, it was a strange choice. Why did I ask for my friend to do it instead of doing it myself? Um, a decision I will never be able to take back. <laughs> but I did. Uh, and that was one of the really fun parts. Jonathan can talk about this too. But, um, you know, Jonathan has been my friend since long before I wrote this book and was sort of intimately involved at every stage of my coming up with the idea and talking through it and starting to write about it. Um, so it was pretty exciting for me to then get to have uh, Last Days of Night uh, read by someone who was there for the entire process. Yeah, and, and I think that for me, you know, it's always nice to get to work with your friends and in this case, to get to basically have total sort of control of telling this entire story and, and so getting to work with him and find out how do you think this should sound, how do you think that should sound was a real privilege because frequently in an audiobook you're just sort of you know, throwing spears in the dark and hoping that they land on something and talking to Graham was, was really helpful. And uh, and also, Graham was leaving the country when we started the narration and I was working on a, on a couple of different things at the time so I had to actually come in late at night and like record the book throughout the evening to meet the deadline. Um, and so really, you know, in a, in a great uh, tribute to the book itself, it was the, the miracle of electric light that allowed this book to be read for all of you out there. So just like how I wrote the book, by the light of electric light and <laughs> laptop screens that have all been made possible by it. So, um, so thanks yeah. Edison, Tesla, and Westinghouse, uh, and we, we hope you enjoy the book. Enjoy.